Hey guys, Greg here. Merry Christmas and happy holidays. I really hope all of you had a great year. And if not, let's try to make 2024 the best one yet. 2023 has been a great year for data science. We've seen all the advancements. We've seen new creators jumping up. So many people taking on awesome opportunities. And I'm excited to see what 2024 has to offer. So that's exactly why I wanted to make this video, how I'd learn data analytics in 2024. Here's the roadmap. So the first step in my pathway is the data science math skills course by Duke University on Coursera. All of these courses are going to be on Coursera Plus, and there's a huge reason for that, which I'll share with you at the end. No matter what you want to do in data analytics, you want general math skills to be able to think and just read mathematical language. It's beginner level with no previous experience required, a very quick course by Coursera standards of just 13 hours, and of course, like all of them, it's a very flexible schedule. The main things you'll want to take away from this course are how to read and think mathematics, functions and graphs, and measuring rates of change, and there's going to be a little a bit of probability theory as well, which is of course essential for statistics. The next step in this pathway is definitely the Google Data Analytics Certificate. It's just unarguably good. 4.8 stars on over 100,000 reviews on over six months of content. It's just, you know, unbeatable, honestly. Given that over 2 million people have enrolled, so the reason for that is all of the content. You are going to learn what data analysts do. You're going to learn the main skills that they use, spreadsheets, SQL, and R programming. I'll definitely talk about the R versus is Python concept. And amazingly, they even teach you Tableau. And so these are the main skills that a data analyst would do at any level of experience. Just look at the sheer abundance of content. It's over 20 hours for all of these eight courses other than the capstone, which is great because you get an awesome capstone project showcasing all of the skills you just learned. So that brings us to the Google Advanced Data and Linux Certificate. And that's going to teach you it in Python. So that way you're going to learn both R and Python. You get to see which one is better at different skills. Skills. R is better for more core statistics. Python is better for more generic programming as well as machine learning, which they teach here. You get to pick and choose. Now, this course sounds a little daunting with advanced level. What they mean pretty much is that you should have taken the other course. So just take the other one first. Now, just like the first analytics course, it's going to be a ton of content. So what you want to take away from this course is that you'll learn Python here. You will learn how to use Python with data science and statistics. You will even learn about regression and machine learning. And you're going to finish that off with an awesome capstone. And by the way, I might be biased, but I really think you want to learn the nuts and bolts of machine learning. As a general data analyst, you probably won't be training hardcore models and tweaking all these LLM parameters. I'm not going to get into that. In general, pretty much every role these days, any technical role, they want you to have an understanding of how machine learning models are built because that's just how companies are built these days. The fourth step in this pipeline is sort of optional, but I very strongly recommend just learning Power BI pretty well because the vast majority of jobs you're going to be placed in you will have the opportunity to use power bi and there's going to be people that just want your help with it it's going to come up to build dashboards and visualizations so you might as well just be good at it now there's definitely a lot of content in this course you don't necessarily have to go through all of these like 100 plus hours but if you get a feel for the different things that you can do with it i think that's pretty useful the second last step is to take this specific specialization for sql you would have already seen sql in the Google courses. However, you really want to master it here. And there's something very important as the third course, distributed computing with Spark SQL. It's an essential skill these days to write scalable Spark code that can execute against a cluster of machines. Okay, that's a skill that you just can't avoid today. And of course, if you are applying to jobs, you'd want an SQL specific project. And so this is going to do that for you. The final step in this pipeline is similarly to master your Tableau skills. You would have already seen it before, but these are going to be the main skills that you do are SQL, Tableau, and R or Python, whatever you prefer. Make sure that you are very good at those as a data analyst and you're pretty much set. So in these courses, you're going to be really, really good at Tableau by the end of this and all the stuff you would have learned about it before. And of course, if it is one of the main core skills you're going to showcase, you want a Tableau specific project here and this course will bring you that. So that's the pathway, but don't go away quite yet. Coursera is launching a New Year's sale of $200 off Coursera plus annual. So make sure to check the description details in my video description so you can check that out. And I hope you have a great new year, guys. Happy Christmas, whatever. I don't know. Just learn data analytics and make your dreams come true. I'll see you later.